part two of two on how to connect your east inverter to the cloud for online monitoring so this is the second part where you're going to connect or register your inverters ap to the cloud so that uh, you will be able to see your harvest and its graphs so uh, on the url it's idems uh, it's also in the manual so you can just check and then if you haven't registered yet there's a register account uh, below but in this case since i've already uh, registered it and i have some few east uh, i will just log in using my account so we're going to use uh, add systems management on the on the right side so that we're going to add an, uh, another station for that so getting here as you can see i have an existing ones then we're going to add a new one 45 kilowatt so it will just ask for a station name uh, edit groups oh no you don't need it either, but you just need a station name and then some normal features is what installation address uh, installed capacity so this in this case is 5 kilowatt uh, we use usd since uh, php is not available so electric electricity price it's 12. after which now that you have here you're going to add your device so the device is the ap the serial number of your uh wi-fi so in my case that's uh, my serial so all you have to do is to add and then once you click it so save changes so as you can see it detected that you know, it's coming from an inverter so it automatically you can see it it's an integrated card inverter acquisition card and then you go back to the uh, distribution pv generation so that you'll be able to see your graph and what's uh it's already running so it's see so at first it's only two now it's already three so let's click on the hybrid and as you can see no data yet because it's uh we just registered it so let's try to navigate on some of the features that this web has so that you'll be able to you know familiarize yourself so it has a device real-time monitoring so you can click on it and then it will show you the the data since we've registered it uh previously it also it also it already have some data but it's not yet reflected because we just added it so statistical reports you can see what are uh, in there so we can see all the generations and stuff so uh, device operation data report so it's running you can also see that and device alarm report so so far none so going back and now we can see that uh, we have the data so it's really reflected since it's been, it's been running for uh, uh, the whole day so you can see on the top of, of your screen some data and this is the graph so uh, daylight total savings and stuff and this one is uh, the kilowatt on the on the bottom part then we can check on uh, our monthly yeah for the uh, data so you can see you can check also device so if there's any issues so what time annual generating report since it's not yet uh, uh, this, this is new one so I don't have any yearly report yet you can also download uh, by just pressing export total power generation report you can also see here and you can also do export if you want to so you can do that in excel device operation data report 
this one is uh, all of the per five minutes data you can, you can see also the curve if you're going to check the curve you can see you can choose whatever data you want to see but in this case you can see all the uh, inputs your PV and inverter active react, uh, frequency if there's a battery you can see the battery in there and other stuff that you can you can see so you can also put the curve uh, this one is very important if you want to check you know uh, uh, the PV voltages your daily power uh, some of here are inverter current voltage this one is PV so you can see how your PV is behaving uh, in terms of uh, weather because you can see that there's a drop so sometimes it's cloudy you can see it from here low voltage inverter active power so it's it, uh, it's output and battery state if you have one in this case i did not uh, connect my battery state but this is also important the grid because if you have issues with the grid this one will have an, an error so you have to make sure that your grid is stable because uh, if it's not this will turn into error or it will it will have a fault error if it's uh, way below uh, based on the LCD screen that you have which we're going to discuss it and one of the important uh, graph is you know, this one is grid active same as the output is your uh, generated power and make sure they are the same uh, and meter city doesn't have any any value for it backup loads no i don't have the backup loads for now so you can export everything if you want to uh, so we just click export in that thing so alarm alarm device report uh this this is the point that you can see a lot of stuff if there's a problem in your inverter so as you can see it's running and also there's one functionality in here that's very good where you can add if you're an installer you can add a user where you can share your graphs into users you know if if you're an installer and you want to have this system enabled then you can share it to your clients that you know these are my uh, installed based clients and you can you can you can show them their graph also but in this case uh, just show you to you that you can uh, save it uh, share it all with them and I think uh, that's for uh, uh, for now and uh, next I'm going to create on how to set up the inverter properly